Hi, I'm Michael from Girl Director, and today I want to talk to you about a little thing that we call the oh shit stage. Now, I don't like to swear a lot, but this is really relevant and I think you'll understand why as I speak to you more about it. There are times in particular with video when you are editing, where you will hit a point where you go, oh my God, this is terrible, oh shit. This is just not working out. This is nothing like what I wanted it to be. It's not the way I envisaged it originally. It's not the way I hoped it would be. And I don't think I got, I got enough footage. I don't think I got everything I should have got. I should have planned this better. I should have done this shot or that shot. There's all these different things that come up as you're editing, as you're trying to complete the project. And I know that this relates to other projects as well. I've talked to people who are theatre directors who go through that stage over a longer period. But there's always that one big point when you sit there and you look at it and you feel deflated and you think, damn, I've stuffed it. But the great thing about that and the end point to that is to know that you have now hit the oh shit stage and it's all gonna get better from here on. Sometimes it might mean that you've got to leave it for a day, sleep on it, and come back to it. It might mean you need to just go and take an hour's break and then come back to it. But once you do that, knowing that you've hit that stage, you are then able to see your creation for what it really is, not for your preconceptions. Because our preconceptions are what will always taint and make it harder to appreciate what we actually have done. Because remember, when people see your video, they're gonna see it as it is, not the way you intended it to be. It might not be exactly as you intended it to be, but so long as you make it cohesive and you think about it and create it as best your abilities you can, and remember, it doesn't have to be perfect, but so long as you get it out there, that's more important. That's more important that it gets out there than to not get it out there because it wasn't perfect or wasn't to your expectation. So remember that. It's really a breakthrough that comes through at the end, and it's really and letting go of the past and letting go of how you thought it should be and then allowing it to be the way it is. Now, I actually think the oh shit stage applies to a lot of periods in life. There are times when you're going through major transition and you hit that point and you go, oh my God, it's not working. But again, don't worry. Just trust in the process. Keep doing what you do. Don't give up. Just get on with it. Get it out there and it will be the way it is. And if you've really done your best to make it as good as you can within your ability, then it will be good. So take that on board and I'd love to hear some of your stories. If you've got some stories about your oh shit stages, then tell us about them. You can put them in comments below, you can email them back to us. Just you know, let us know what happens because it's such a powerful concept when you take it on board and accept it. That's it for me today, so enjoy the process and we'll talk to you next time. Ha!